Hello friends, I am Dr. Shaha. I am a molecular biologist with expertise in microbiology, genetics and bioinformatics. On this channel, I break down complex biological concepts into easy to understand content. If you are passionate about science, subscribe and join me on this journey of discovery. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So I have come again with a different type of video today. So in my last video, probably last, so we talked about biological immortality, whether it's possible or not possible. We also discussed a lot of ways how the lifespan extension is possible. So one of the ways was uh, using cellulitic drugs, so which is actually to remove zombie cells to slow our aging. So I'll talk more about cellulitic drugs today. Hey everyone, just a quick disclaimer. This video is purely for educational and informational purposes. It's based on my personal knowledge in molecular biology and it's not medical advice. If you have any health related concerns, please consult a qualified medical professional. Now let's get into the topic. This today. All right, let's start. So, cellulitic drugs are compounds designed to target and destroy senescent cells. So, senescent cells are those cells which are old, damaged cells that stop dividing but don't die. These cells release harmful molecules that cause chronic inflammation, tissue damage, and aging related diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's. On and or cardiovascular diseases. So how do these cellulitic drugs work? Senescent cells resist normal programmed cell death which is called apoptosis and cellulitic force these cells to self-destruct by blocking survival pathways like one of the molecular pathway I can say is BCL2. This pathway prevents cell death these are targeted by drugs, like in the market you can say um, Nebitoclax. Another is PI3K or AKT pathway, which promotes survival and inflammation. So this is targeted by something quercetin. So by clearing these zombie cells, cellulitic drugs can reduce inflammation, improve tissue regeneration, extend lifespan, and health span shown in my studies um, at least. So you can ask what are the top cellulitic drugs and compounds? All right, so let's go into that. So one of the cellulitic drugs could be desitinib. So desitinib, which is FDA approved leukemia drug and quercetin is plant flavonoid something. So these Drugs are proven to clear senescent cells in aged mice and improve lung and heart function. Clinical trials in humans showed reduced um, frailty and improved physical function. Another trial we can um, call actually physetine. So this is um, flavonoid in strawberries and apples. So natural cellulitic disease that reduces senescent cells in multiple tissues. My studies showed that lifespan extension and better metabolic health um, if the cohort actually use these uh, drugs. And this is still under clinical trials for one of the dangerous disease Alzheimer's and also some other aging related diseases. And there are other drugs actually which are currently under clinical trials um, which actually worked um, within the checkpoints in the immunology, immune system of the human body. And also, to be very honest, there are some risks and challenges of these drugs or therapies you can say for the um, cellulitic things. So one of the risks could be off-target effects that could harm healthy cells as well. So no, any therapy actually effective now which can only work on 
um, its target. It could have off-target effects. Another challenge could be tissue specific action. So some drugs work better in certain organs in the body, but when it is fortunately go to other organs, probably will not work as the same rate as in that specific organ. And also need for precise dosing, um, overuse that may lead to toxic effects as well. So you have to be very vigilant um, in the dosing, so which is under investigation or trial as well. So how is the future of simulatics? Can they make us live longer? The matter of hope is that animal studies show a lifespan extension, almost 30%, you can say. Clinical trials are ongoing for human aging diseases and potential use for um, rejuvenation therapy in the future. Um, unfortunately, these drugs are not available as anti-aging pills yet, but getting closer. So I have a question guys for you. Would you try cellulitics if they become say approved? Just comment and tell us what you think and like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'll see you in my next video.